टुडे वी टेक दिस क्वेश्चन कैलकुलेट द चेंज इन एंट्रोपी ऑफ आइडियल गैस इन फ्री एडियाबेटिक एक्सपेंशन वी वांट टू फाइंड द चेंज इन एंट्रोपी ऑफ आइडियल गैस इन इट्स फ्री एक्सपेंशन दैट इज फ्री एडियाबेटिक एक्सपेंशन और प्रूव बाय एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस दैट इन दिस प्रोसेस एंट्रोपी ऑफ यूनिवर्स इनक्रीजेज दिस इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस फ्री एडियाबेटिक एक्सपेंशन ऑफ आइडियल गैस इट इज इिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस एंड इन दिस इिवर्सिबल प्रोसेस वी वांट टू फाइंड द चेंज इन एंट्रोपी ऑफ आइडियल गैस कंसिडर ए सिस्टम एनक्लोज बाई इंसुलेटिंग वाल्स इन विच देयर आर टू वेसल्स कनेक्टेड बाई स्टॉप कॉक this is the system which consists insulating wall it is surrounded by wall which is insulating heat cannot enter inside this or heat cannot go outside it this system is divided into two parts and these two parts are connected by a stop cock in one part ideal gas is filled and the other part is empty there is vacuum in the other part consider a system enclosed by insulating walls in which there are two vessels connected by stop cock in one vessel there is an ideal gas and in other there is vacuum if stop cock is suddenly opened the ideal gas expands freely and adiabatically this is free expansion of ideal gas or adiabatic expansion of ideal gas gas is expanding its volume is increasing and this process is adiabatic process because the system is surrounded by insulating wall and no heat can enter into this system and no heat can go outside this system so this process of free expansion of ideal gas is adiabatic process so we call it free adiabatic expansion of ideal gas and this process is irreversible we cannot do it in reverse direction and now we want to find 
the change in the entropy for this process in which volume of ideal gas changes from vi to vf vi is initial volume of ideal gas when it is in one vessel inside this system and vf is final volume when stop cock is opened and this gas expands in both the vessels now volume is increased let volume becomes vf from vi now we want to find the change in entropy in this process formula for change in entropy is ds equal to dq upon t if dq heat is taken then entropy of the system increases by dq upon t or change in entropy ds is dq upon t but this definition for change in entropy is only for reversible process and it is not applicable to this process which is irreversible but we know that entropy is a point function it depend on initial and final states of the system and does not depend on the path joining these two states so to find the change in entropy in this irreversible process we consider another process that is reversible and which have same initial and final states as in this process in this irreversible process there is no exchange of heat it is free adiabatic expansion of ideal gas dq is zero and there is no work done by this ideal gas so dw is also zero in this process work done by the system dw and heat given to system dq both are zero and then from first law of thermodynamics change in internal energy du will also zero from first law of thermodynamics we know dq equal to du plus dw now in this process we have dq is zero dw is zero so from first law of thermodynamics we have du also equal to zero so it is clear that in this process of free adiabatic expansion of ideal gas there is no change in its temperature because there is no change in the internal energy so there is no change in its temperature internal energy u is function of temperature only if internal energy u does not change then temperature also does not change so temperature in this process remains constant this process is an isothermal process so if we want to find the change in entropy in this irreversible process we will consider another some another process that is reversible and for which 
initial and final states are same as in this process so we consider isothermal expansion of ideal gas which is reversible process and in that process we consider that volume of ideal gas changes from vi to vf then the initial and final states of both the processes are same so we can find same change in the entropy so change in entropy now given as delta s equal to integral dq upon t ds equal to dq upon t this formula is for reversible process now we consider the reversible process isothermal expansion of ideal gas in which temperature remains constant and volume of gas changes from vi to vf now from first law of thermodynamics we put the value of dq that is equal to du plus dw so delta s now becomes integral i to f du plus dw upon t from first law of thermodynamics now here this process is isothermal process temperature remains constant so its internal energy u also remains constant and du will be equal to 0 put du equal to 0 and dw is equal to pdv so this change in entropy delta s will now become equal to integral i to f p dv upon t and in this expression from equation of state of ideal gas pv equal to nrt we put the value of p from this equation that is equation of state for an ideal gas pv equal to nrt n is number of moles from this relation we have p equal to nrt upon v and put the value of p here so we get delta s change in entropy equal to integral i to f nrt upon v dv upon t here we put the value of p from equation of state of ideal gas that is pv equal to nrt t is the constant temperature because this is isothermal process isothermal expansion of ideal gas in which volume of gas changes from vi to vf t is constant and t is cancelled out here n and r are constants taken outside the integral and inside the integral we have dv upon v and value of this integral is log v and if we put the limits limits of v are from vi to vf i is initial state where v is vi f is final state where v is vf so this integral is equal to log v and if we put the limits from vi to vf it becomes equal to log vf minus log vi and we write this log vf minus log vi as log vf upon vi for log we write ln ln is also log here the log is on e basis for log e we write ln so we find now the change in entropy delta s equal to nr log vf upon vi 
since Vf is greater than Vi, final volume is greater than initial volume, gas is expanding, so delta S will be positive. Entropy of system now increases. So it is clear that in this process entropy of the system increases since system is isolated by its surrounding by insulating walls there will be no exchange of heat between the system and its surrounding. So entropy of the surrounding remains unchanged so entropy of universe universe is system plus surrounding it is called universe entropy of the system is increasing entropy of the surrounding remains the same there is no change so entropy of universe is increasing by this process this is the system and outside the system entire thing is its surrounding and this system plus surrounding is called universe. Entropy of this system is increases by this process of free adiabatic expansion which is irreversible process. So in a irreversible process entropy of universe increases. In this example we see that entropy of this system increases and we see that entropy of the surrounding since surrounding and the system are separated by insulating wall. So there is no exchange of heat between this system and surrounding so entropy of surrounding will not be changed because there is no exchange of heat dq is zero so ds is zero so entropy of system is increasing entropy of surrounding is zero so total entropy of universe is increasing by this irreversible process. Now we see the next question which is state second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy and so that in this statement both the Kelvin-Planck statement and Clausius statement are inherent. Now we want to state second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy. In all reversible process entropy of universe remains unchanged while in all irreversible process entropy of universe increases. Since fully reversible process is not possible in nature we can say that each natural process in each natural process entropy of universe increases this is second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy so in terms of entropy second law of thermodynamics states that in each natural process entropy of the universe always increases because no process no natural process can be fully reversible now we see that Kelvin Planck statements and Clausius statements of second law or th of thermodynamics are inherent in this new statement of second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy. So we see that first we see 
that if we assume that Kelvin Planck statement is wrong, what will happen? According to Kelvin Planck statement, it is impossible for any engine to work continuously by extracting heat from source and rejecting no heat to sink. According to Kelvin Planck statement of second law of thermodynamics, we know that a perfect heat engine is not possible. Such an engine is not possible which extract heat from source and converts this entire heat into work and gives no heat to sink. Now if we assume that Kelvin Planck statement is wrong and such an 100% efficient heat engine is possible. Now such an heat engine is possible such heat engine is possible which extract Q1 heat from heat source of temperature T1 degree Kelvin. High temperature T1 degree Kelvin. This extracts Q1 heat and converts this Q1 heat into work and gives no heat to sink. If such engine is possible which extracts heat Q1 from source of temperature T1 degree Kelvin and convert all this heat into work in one cycle, then there is decrease in entropy of source. Change in entropy of source, delta S will be equal to minus Q1 upon T1. From the definition of entropy, ds equal to dq upon t change in entropy of source is negative because q1 heat goes from the source so we write this heat as negative as minus q1 so delta s is minus q1 upon t1 q1 heat goes outside the source so change in entropy of source delta S is equal to minus Q1 upon T1. T1 is the temperature of source. Entropy of working substance does not change since in cyclic process entropy do not change. Entropy of sink also does not change because no heat is given to sink and no heat is taken from it. In this way entropy of universe should be decreased which violates the second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy. Total change in entropy of the universe will be this minus Q1 upon T1 which is negative. So entropy is of universe is decreasing if we assume Kelvin Planck statement wrong. So if we assume that Kelvin Planck statement is wrong then it violates the second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy. Similarly, if we assume that Clausius statement is wrong, Clausius statement of second law of thermodynamics is this. It is impossible for any self-acting machine to transfer heat from a body of low temperature to a body of high temperature. Such an 100% efficient refrigerator is not possible. Such an self-acting machine is not possible which take heats, heat from low temperature sink and gives it to source of high temperature. And no external work is needed on it. Such machine is not possible according to Clausius statement. But if now we assume that Clausius statement is wrong, such an such machine is possible which extracts Q2 heat from sink of low temperature T2 degree Kelvin and gives this Q2 heat to source of high temperature T1 degree Kelvin 
and no external work is done on it. This is self-acting machine. It means that Q2 heat goes from low temperature sink to high temperature source without any external work. If this happens, then change in entropy of sink delta S1 will becomes minus Q2 upon T2. Temperature of sink is T2 and Q2 heat is taken from it. So change in entropy of sink delta S1 is minus Q2 upon T2, it is negative. Entropy of sink is decreases because Q2 heat is taken away from it. And change in entropy of source delta S2, it is Q2 upon T1. Q2 heat is given to source at temperature T1. So change in entropy of source is delta S2 which is positive and it is equal to plus Q2 upon T1. And there will be no change in the entropy of working substance since in cyclic process entropy do not change. Now change in the entropy of universe will be equal to delta S equal to delta S1 plus delta S2 that is minus Q2 upon T2 plus Q2 upon T1. Since T1 temperature is greater than this temperature T2. So this negative term will be greater than this positive term and this change in entropy delta S will be negative which shows that entropy of the universe is decreasing. Negative change in entropy means entropy is decreasing which violates the second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy. So we see that if Kelvin Planck statement is wrong or if Clausius statement is wrong then both violates the second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy. So this second law of thermodynamics in terms of entropy include both of these statements of Kelvin Planck statement and Clausius statement.